Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappinkatie.ctmh.com and I'm participating in the Close to My Heart Twisted Sisters YouTube Hop featuring a product out of the May and June idea book or catalog and showing it in a twisted way. So I'm going to be using the special You Are Enough and while the special is a special, it's still available through the life of the catalog or while supplies last. And I am particularly going to be using the Butterfly Thin Cuts. Now you can see here, this is a large butterfly. Here is the palm of my hand, and you'll see how that just fits in there. We have a large butterfly that has three layers, and then a small butterfly that has two layers. So I'm going to show you what this butterfly looks like as intended, and then we will start getting to work on my twisted way of using it. So here is a look at the butterfly as intended. And like I said, it has three layers and then that smaller one has just two. And so I'm gonna show you a twisted way to use this butterfly using it more like a stencil. So off camera and I've already made one. So you'll see that I have two out of chipboard. This is pretty thin chipboard, but I just ran it through my die cut machine. We have the more intricate cut and then we have the second one. And then I have that base, that open piece, and I've actually just cut it out of a card base. And that's going to make it really easy for me to just lay on top of my card and use it for sponging. Now on the back of this, I've used some temporary um, adhesive tabs which also makes it really easy, especially in this case, um, to make sure that those inside pieces stick down to my card base. I'll leave a link down below to those items or to those tabs if you wanna get it, as well as the brushes that I'm gonna be using. Um, there's some brushes that I use quite often when I do inking and I just love them. So I'm gonna stick this one down and then we're going to be using peach as our base layer. So I've got that and then I've got one of my blending brushes. So I'm just rubbing that all over my peach ink pad. And then I'm gonna kind of start off the butterfly, much like you see most people who do ink blending. You wanna start off your project so you don't have any hard strokes. And you just want to go over this as much as possible until you get the desired color. Okay, I've finished inking that up and you can see why it's important on this base layer to have a whole bunch extra. So you ink up on that instead of the card base. So there is our base. And then we are going to be using two other colors for those other layers. Now, one thing I do want to point out is if you were using this as a 3D butterfly, like I showed you on that layout, this is considered your top layer because it's more intricate. For sponging purposes, we're actually going to flip this. I'm going to be using this one first, and then this is actually going to be our top layer. So I'm going to lay that down here. Now one thing I want to point out is our green mono adhesive. It's permanent unless you let it dry to a tacky state and then it's removable. So I'm going to put that on this little butterfly's body. It's going to make it just a little bit easier to work with and make sure that that body stays down. And then the rest I can just kind of hold with my fingers. So we want to make sure that that dries right quick. Okay, I think that is tacky enough. So we are just going to put this down in the center. And you can see where that base just has a tiny edge around it, which is okay. And then we are going to use Desert Rose. And one thing about these brushes is they stain, but it doesn't come off. So after you use it, you just 
swipe it on a scratch piece of paper and then um, all the color comes off. So one thing I am going to do is I'm going to pull in this outside edge and <clears throat> make sure that it is all around that outside just so and this is another reason why it's good to tack down that body just so if I get wild and crazy and go over the edge um, or the sides it doesn't get on the card so I am just going to start sponging in and this color I'm using on this one is desert rose so it is a little bit darker than this peach and the other thing about this intricate one is it has these little dots all around some of those dots will show up if I wanted all of them to show up I definitely could do that these little bristles from this blending tool they really get into all of those little nooks and crannies which is why I love them in fact I hope it's not getting into the little edges in between the outline but we'll see and so I'm gonna repeat that process over here. I decided to rotate my butterfly. I'm pretty sure you saw that. Um, just to kind of give me a little bit more control from this other side, instead of trying to reach way over to the left. Okay. I think that has done what I need it to do. So I'm just gonna take this off and then remove this. And we're gonna cover up this body, but if you wanted, if you weren't gonna cover it up, you can just use your finger or you can use the a rub and remove eraser and it will take off that tackiness from that ink. So then our next layer, I've already put a little bit of that Tombow adhesive. Our next layer is going to be right here and same thing I just want to bring this in just to make sure that I don't get it anywhere especially since this is the blue and I'm going to be using Bluebell and get a scratch piece of paper Actually, I can just do this. Just kind of get that desert sand off. You know what? I think I went right there. It's okay. Okay. So then I'm just going to pick up some Bluebell ink and I'm going to do the same thing with this. Okay, so we've got that done. So I'm just gonna take this one off. And there is the butterfly. Now how I'm going to finish this off is I have cut one of those larger butterflies, the more intricate one, this top layer. I just took a strip of this pattern paper from the You Are Enough and I cut just the body out of it and I'm going to add that to this butterfly just to kind of make it pop. You could also use 3D foam tape if you had some real skinny 3D foam tape. And then I have also stamped this little sentiment that says beautiful on a little piece. I think this is just scrap, so it might have been, it looks to be about three eighths of an inch, maybe half an inch. And I'm really not sure how long. This is the stamp set that comes with the You Are Enough bundle. Here's a look at it. So it's got several sentiments. Beautiful, strong, enough, brave, wonderful, I am, you shine, thank you. It's also got a butterfly with a thin cut. And then these kind of diamond heart um, images. So let's go ahead and get this butterfly glued down. 
And you can see why I said if you can't get that glue off, don't worry about it because you can use this butterfly body. And then I'm just going to add some thin 3D foam just because the rest of this card is pretty much one layer, I don't want to add a whole lot of bulk with this sentiment. So this is thin. I'm just going to peel that off and then stick it right there. Make sure it's straight. And there you have it. And then you could decorate the inside with either some more sentiments or an additional piece of this patterned paper. Again, um, this is part of the You Are Enough special. I will leave that link down below as well as links to the brushes and then the um, temporary tabs I used for my stencil. And then don't forget that my other Close to My Heart sisters are also doing Twisted Ways to use some of the products in the new May and June catalog. So I'll leave links to those videos down below as well. Thank you so much. If you liked what you saw, please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll be alerted the next time I post a crafty video.